The Xander house is a beautiful house. Just the architecture of this, of this house, it's, it's really pretty breathtaking. A house with a history is something you can feel. And if you've ever lived in a very old house, the air is a little different inside. This one in particular, you know, has housed several other residents before the Xanders moved in. The house that the Xander family is living in has a, has a very dark history, which we didn't know. One of the things that happened after the end of the Second World War was that a lot of the Nazi soldiers and scientists fled Germany to destinations all over the globe. It turns out that the house our family has been living in was owned by one of these men. He started experimenting on other immigrants and vulnerable people and taking them down into his basement and torturing them. Cutting out their tongues and sewing their mouths shut and just evil, just pure evil in this house. What they don't know and what we're gonna find out is that all of his victims are still there, literally in the walls. Well, the house in this movie became like a character because we spent so much time in it. It's a real house and it has a lot of texture already. It has a feeling to it. We knew from the beginning that production design in this movie was going to be critical. So we hired Patricio Farrell and basically said, we want to create an environment that's accurate to the period without feeling like we're trying to put on a pageant of the 60s. We wanted it to feel lived in. We wanted it to feel authentic. His attention to detail is astonishing. <laughs> 